settlement of accounts on dissolution of FA. Following are the steps in the process of dissolution of FA. The first step in the dissolution process is realizing or selling the assets of the fame. It also includes collecting the debtors. In short, converting the assets into cash is the first step in the resolution process of FA. The second step is making the different payments. The payments are to be made in the following order. Firstly, paying the realization expenses, that is, expenses incurred for realizing the assets. Secondly, paying the preferential creditors, that is, the creditors who have preference in getting their payment. It includes amounts due to government, rates and taxes due, salaries and wages due to employees, etc. Thirdly, paying the debts or liabilities to outsiders or third parties such as creditors, bank overdraft, loans, bills payable, advances or loans given by partners, spouse, relatives, etc. Fourth, it is repayment of loans from partners. Next, it is repayment of capital contribute or brought in by partners. In the last step, surplus if any is distributed among the partners in their profit sharing ratio. Next it is accounting treatment. All dissolution, the books of accounts of the fame are to be closed. For the purpose, the following accounts are prepared. The first account it is realization account. Realization account is a nominal account prepared to ascertain the profit or loss on realization of assets and payments of liabilities. Firstly, to close the accounts of the assets and liabilities, all the assets in the balance sheet excluding cash and fictitious assets are transferred to the debit side and all external liabilities, that is liabilities to third parties are transferred to the credit side of the realization account. Provisions if any relating to the assets. For example, provision for bad and doubtful debts, that is provision relating to sundry debtors, are treated as liabilities and transferred to the credit side and provisions relating to liabilities are treated as assets and transferred to the debit side of the realization account. Then amounts realized or obtained from the assets including amounts realized from the unrecorded assets that is assets which were not there in the balance sheet and therefore not transferred to the realization account are taken on the credit or income side. With regard to the assets which were there in the balance sheet and so transferred to the realization account, the entire amount of their book value is assumed as realized even if nothing is mentioned regarding the amount realized. Now the liabilities paid or settled including the unrecorded liabilities that is liabilities which were not there in the balance sheet and therefore not transferred to the realization account are debit or taken on the expenses side. The items profit loss account, general reserve etc. which are there on the liability side of the balance sheet is profit accumulate or transferred to reserve over the previous years without being shared among the partners and referred to as accumulate profits. It is not an external liability, rather only a liability to the partners and not transferred to the realization account. Instead, the same is transferred to partners capital accounts directly. However, the reserves and funds which are there on the liability side of the balance sheet such as joint life policy reserve, contingency reserve, investment fluctuation fund, 
accident compensation fund etc are reserves and funds created out of the previous year's profits and therefore are in the form of accumulated profits itself but as they were created for certain specific purposes and therefore liabilities are attached to them and hence not transferred directly to the partners capital accounts rather transferred to the realization account credit side similarly profit loss account on the asset side of the balance sheet that is accumulated loss and the fictitious assets which are not transferred to the realization account such as preliminary expenses advertisement suspense account etc are transferred to the debit side of the partners capital accounts however goodwill patent right copyright trademark etc are transferred to the realization account even then they are fictitious assets as they have realizable value and may get realized or sold now any realization expenses that is expenses incurred for the realization of assets are also taken on the debit side the difference in the account would be either realization profit or loss that is profit or loss on the realization of assets and payment of liabilities and the same is transferred to the partners capital account and thereby the realization account is closed now second it is capital accounts of partners or partners capital accounts partners capital accounts is prepared in a columnar form providing amount to column for each partner on both the sides partners capital account is a liability account therefore the opening balances of capital that is the amounts of partners capital in the balance sheet are taken on the credit side all the items those go to increase the liability or capital such as realization profit from the realization account accumulated profit from the balance sheet are also credit the items those go to decrease the capital such as realization loss accumulate loss etc are taken on the debit side the difference in the account would be either amount due to the partners by the firm or amount due by the partners to the firm if the account shows credit balance that is the amount is less than on the debit side it would be amount payable by the firm to the partners and if the amount is less on the credit side it would be amount payable by the partners to the firm whatever it is either the amount is paid by the firm or the amount is brought in by the partners and thereby the partners capital account is closed however in the case where there are current accounts also along with the partners capital accounts it means that partners capital accounts are maintained under fixed capital method therefore the adjustments such as realization profit or loss accumulated profit or loss etc cannot be done in the partners capital accounts rather taken in the partners current accounts and the balance in the partners current accounts is transferred to the partners capital accounts and finally the partners capital accounts is balanced in the same way as discussed already now third it is cash account cash account is debit with the opening amount of cash there in the balance sheet the receipts of cash from the realization of assets are also debit now the payments of cash that is payments of expenses and liabilities are credit the balance in the cash account would be equal to the amount payable to the partners as shown by the partners capital account when the partners are paid the account gets closed
for the easy access of the classes please subscribe the channel it is free by clicking the subscribe option and for getting notifications click the bell icon below